Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Jeremiah Nickel from the uh, Kansas City area. Um, I want to make a quick video today about Funfair. So Funfair is uh, developed by Jez Sand, as many of you know. Got a team of about 30 people and a ton of uh, interesting uh, games that are available for local play. And three of them now are on the blockchain now on the test network. So well, let's dive right in. I'm going to show you how to fund uh, your gameplay and spin the wheel or whatever on Funfair. And uh, I've had a lot of fun messing with this uh, website. And they actually have a really active Discord uh, server. So Discord is kind of like a Telegram or a TeamSpeak. It's a, it's a great, there are a lot of gamers use it, but Discord, uh, their, their team is on Discord quite often. They have about <clears throat> 12 different people that represent Funfair on there answering questions and interacting with uh, different users. I think that speaks volumes, right? Um, I've never seen anybody go even a few hours without some kind of a response from one of the devs on there uh, regarding technical issues. You can also give them feedback on your gameplay experience. So on top of showing you Funfair, I'm also using the Brave browser. Uh, the Brave browser is has some uh, integrated things in it. Oh, look, Java update wants to install. Peace out, Java. All right. So let's dive right in. On the Brave browser, by default, um, you can go into the, your preferences and go to extensions. And by default, they have the Ethereum browser extension MetaMask ready to go. All you got to do is click this to enable. Um, on a side note, uh, Brave browsers now, uh, they got Brave payments here. On one of my other computers, I have this on. And they are making it, it, as far as I understand, making it to where you could actually pay YouTube uh, channels directly with that token. Um, I don't want to get off track on that because I haven't done all my research with it, but I want to, I want to speak specifically that this is an ad-free browsing experience, but you pay for the ads that you want to see. And uh, this is kind of a new model of a browser where you pay, to, you pay uh, uh, content creators directly. You know, it takes a bit of getting used to, um, but at least you have an online experience that you can you can shape to your own needs. And uh, you know what? Sometimes some posts and some contributors are worth more than others. And this this browser is going to be, I think, a few years from now is going to really be an eye opener for people. Now, I'm, I'm over 40 years old, so maybe not for my crowd, but I could see the young generation that kind of comes up and they're kind of not interested in, you know, the way the ad targeting uh, takes place on Facebook and YouTube and whatnot. So the Brave uh, browser is worth checking out. But anyway, MetaMask, they've got a deal with MetaMask here where it's already there. All you got to do is turn it on and then you log, you log in up here. And I'm on the Covan test net. There's the main Ethereum network here. You have the Robson, Covan, Rinkaby. So I believe on Funfair, you can use the Covan or the Rinkaby test network in order to uh, play in um, these games that I have right here. Let me go. <clears throat> let me go over here to local just for a second. I love how everything's very smooth here. But look at all these different games that you can play locally. And then they have some that are dedicated to the future that they're working on now. So three card poker, it looks like. And I'm not sure what that represents, but it's coming. And then uh, the blockchain based games, the three of them that are ready to go now are uh, Casino, uh, Slot Machine, Baccarat, and Roulette. Um, let's play Roulette. Okay. And as it says right here, this game runs on a test blockchain using the Fate channels. The Fate channels are, are a state channel, right? So here's the cool thing that they have going. I'm going to try to talk and maneuver this as I go. The Fate channel basically is an off blockchain transaction. If you had to wait to, to, to spin the wheel on roulette, you'd be waiting 30 seconds or more for confirmation or whatnot. The cool thing about a Fate channel is, oh, by the way, and if you did, if you didn't have the Fate channel, you'd be paying fees for every turn. That's important. Okay. <clears throat> so the fees for every turn could be, you know, 10 to 15 cents. I guess maybe five cents. It doesn't really matter. Paying to spin every turn uh, would rack up some pretty incredible fees. 
you know, not a bad business model, but probably not going to be a very successful business model. What's cool about the fake channels is the user pays to enter the uh, the fake channel to begin play, and the house pays for the fake channel to be closed, the fees to close the channel. So you could you could go into a a game like roulette with you know however many fun tokens you want and spin the wheel uh, you know a thousand times but only pay fee the one time you entered the room right so you pay the fee on the way in the house pays the fee on the way out and if I'm wrong please uh, correct me in the comments below but that's my understanding after reading on discord so let's do this um, <clears throat> it says you can get some test fun all right but I already have some right here and I'm gonna go ahead and confirm with 10,000 test fun when I click confirm now, on Brave Browser, it doesn't automatically pop up, but do you see my MetaMask has a notification up here? Click on that. And basically, MetaMask is going to ask me, do you want to do this? And I click Submit. And now what's happening is on blockchain, on the test network, Kovan test network, I'm getting 10,000 uh, fund tokens uh, deposited into my, uh, my play here. All right. Okay, so I have 10,000, and the house has, you know, however many million or whatever. So what I'm going to do, just to keep it simple, I'm going to bet 100 on red. <laughs> All right, here we go. And there you have it. So now I have 100 chip. All the red's highlighted. Okay, so I'm not going to get into the game of roulette, but obviously you can do other things where you put another token on even and that would be all even numbers of red okay or all evens or 1 through 18 or whatever all right so I click spin and away we go ding 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 black six so obviously that's loss you see here my chips fly away and then what I could do is do a new bet so I'm gonna do another bet I'm gonna do 500 and I'm gonna do it on odd numbers right here okay so now I have that now this is a cool thing you can go ahead and increase the number of spins so I'm gonna do three spins non-stop this is good for really lazy people who don't even want to get up to walk to the casino much less uh, click a button an extra couple of times <laughs> all right so their first one it looks like was a winner second spin and so on and so forth I really like that's kind of cool, right? You can you can uh, you can do this. So the other thing to keep in mind is you know it looks pretty, and but why blockchain? Uh, the the number one reason is provably fair. This is provably fair coding. It can it can be reviewed. Um, it's just it's one of those deals where you know what do you what do you look for when you're gambling? It doesn't matter if you're at a casino. It doesn't matter if you're playing online you want it to be provably fair yes you know the house has an edge that's how they make money um, so so there's that is fun fair itself going to be a casino for what I've read no it's not what they're going to do is license out I'm going to cash out here they're going to license this technology out to operators that want to use it and it just has my wheels thinking wow branding right think about all the different branding they could put different skins on these machines for you know Caesar's Palace or Harris or whoever so I'm gonna go back into blockchain here show you the uh, slot machine here click play open up a new fate channel again I'm paying fees on the way in they're paying fees on the way out when you cash out so it's kind of smart that if you're gonna go gamble on this platform put quite a you know put quite a bit in there because you can you can spend as long as you want uh, as long as you have money obviously all right confirm and then I go up here to MetaMask click submit sorry computers a little bit laggy it's probably my machine actually a hundred percent it's my machine this has nothing to do with funfair MetaMask or the brave browser I'm on a pretty lightweight machine. Okay. Yeah. 
So, and I'm running screen recording software. So, there you go. Lesson learned. Get a better machine if you're going to make a video, you dummy. Uh, all right. So, I'm just going to leave it at that. This is a basic slot machine. Uh, you know how you know how this works, right? Most often. Okay. So, I'm going to leave this video at that. Check it out. Funfair.io. Uh, the testnet uh, blockchain is working beautifully. Uh, my computer's lagged out because uh, it's low on specs. Let's leave it at that. Uh, the MetaMask, along with the Brave Browser, is a really nice marriage. And and with the Funfair, it's just it's 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 neat to use all the tools that are in the ecosystem to support the ecosystem. And you kind of get a feel for what's to come. The Brave Browser is super fast. If you haven't had a chance to use it, use it. Take a look at the Brave uh, or the Bat payment system in there. Obviously, MetaMask is a hero in my world. They've they've made it really easy to interact with uh, the Ethereum network on on different kinds of browsers, including Chrome. And then, obviously, Funfair I think is just an incredible company, a, an incredible vision. And you know, really, I I'm interested to see where this thing pops off in 2018. They they say that I believe the beta testing on network is uh, coming quarter one 2018. So this isn't a pump piece or anything. The product speaks for itself. It works phenomenally well. Um, and if you have any issues, let the team know on their Discord channel. It's that easy. And they're very responsive. And the best part is, is on the Discord channel, you can help other people learn as well. So I'm going to leave this video at that. Uh, cheers and big hugs from Kansas City. And I hope you guys are having fun in the in the ecosystem. I think at the time of this video, Ethereum has risen to $350. A Bitcoin is a little over $8,000. Uh, crypto is starting to get some teeth, about $200 billion uh, worldwide, it looks like. And uh, Mike Novogratz thinks over a trillion in 12 months. I'm thinking more like 18 months, but we'll see. Uh, it's been a great run. And uh, the Funfair uh, team, hats off to you guys. Look, I'll even take my hat off for you right there. It's Thanksgiving dinner day at my school, and I get to be the Pied Piper of the Pumpkin Pie Parade, and then our librarian gets to be the Whipped Cream Queen, so it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Cheers. Big hugs, guys. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.